Hey, hey. Good day, everyone. I just wanted to make this video, man, because, you know, in the group, I pretty much uh, talk about private citizenship. And uh, I had a lot of questions. So I wanted to kind of talk about it because some, you know, doing texts and uh, everybody would get a little confused about what I'm saying. So I want to try to clear some things up so you, you can understand what I'm saying. So basically what I'm doing, man, is like trying to clear the air. Okay, we all don't know each other. I don't know anybody like that in the group. I just started uh, responding to some, some of the, the comments. First, I was just reading a lot of it. But uh, I wanted to say that I do have uh, some experience. Again, I want to state that I don't know everything, but I do have experience, and I go off my experiences and what I've been through through my journey all these years uh, becoming a private citizen. You may have seen that I put up uh, uh, that uh, how to you know steps one, steps two, and steps three. There's other steps too, but I wanted to go back to like the start of it because that's where it starts. So to answer some questions, uh, what I mean, because I got a lot of feedbacks on, you know, you don't have to uh, give out notice. You know, all you need to do is create a trust and and um, actually just just know who you are. Okay, so to, to comment on that, I want to say this first too. That I don't knock down nobody's processes so everybody understand I don't do that uh, I do make my own suggestions and comments but it's not to uh, put anybody down on what they doing if they already did something because you always can correct the process okay so you know we all had to learn somehow learn somewhere yes I did have a mentor yes uh, he taught me a lot of common sense stuff and, and, you know, you know, as, as all us individuals learning and going through our journey, your spirit will really tell you what you should be doing and what you should not. If, if you, you know, pay attention, you will know where something is weird. First thing I want to say too, also is that many of us are quick to judge just because they don't see some proof or they don't see, uh, uh, if you can't, if it's not working for them, then it means it don't work and stuff like that. But it depends on it, what it is when it comes to that. Okay, so first things first, when, you, when you're trying to become a private citizen, you can't just think that you're a private citizen just because you say you're a private citizen. And what I mean by that is that you have to, you, uh, to, to comment on the, the response to one of my comments of the uh, putting uh, the officials on notice the reason why you put them on notice is because you want them to know who you are right so if you if you're gonna say you're a private citizen you're gonna always go and let them know that hey listen this is who I am uh, um, when it comes to uh, uh, presenting you with something which is called presentment when you when you present something to them, they won't look at it crazy and like, okay, so why are you sending me this? Why? Because you're not a private citizen. You have never sent us anything stating that you're a private citizen. So you have to understand why you put these people on notice. You can't just say, well, I'm a private citizen. All I need is a trust. A trust can only do, do so much. But it can't help you if you're out here uh, on the streets and and, and moving documents and moving about out here on the streets. A person can say, oh, well, I don't need no driver license to to uh, to drive. That's that's true in some part, but if you have a CDL, let's say if you, you have a CDL or you drive a truck, it's the same. You have to have a CDL. So I'm going to go back to where I presented my I actually presented my own document, my, my driving license, which is a CDL. And somebody made a comment about, oh, you dipping in commerce and this and that. No, when you when you put your name, when you sign your name on a 
document. What are you saying? Uh, so what my signature was, was by my name and agent, right? So what you actually telling them is that you control the all caps name, okay? That's exactly what you're doing, okay? So you're not, you're not just, you're not dipping in commerce just because you have use of something. You do not co-mingle, right? Somebody said, oh, you co-mingling since you got an ID with your that signature on it. No, that's not co-mingling. You have to know what co-mingling is, okay? If you have use of, that's not co-mingling. <laughs> it's called use of. So if you're the sole beneficiary agent of that all caps, you have use of that. So whatever the all caps does in their world you can capitalize on it that's why you call sole beneficiary an agent right what, what does beneficiary mean that means you benefit from everything the all caps uses so you're not co-mingling the all caps is in commerce you're not in commerce okay so that's what that mean when you use a drive license now to answer the question about the driver you don't have to have a drive license if you don't want to you can have one if you want to. It's not gonna hurt you as a private citizen. You just have use of. We got we got so mixed up in. Um, I don't need a, a driver license. I, I don't want the social security number anymore. I, all that you killing yourself. When you do that, you are killing yourself. You are not a. You cannot call yourself a sole beneficiary agent if you get rid of a social security number and you. You just get rid of the all caps all together. You go change your name and all that. No, you can never be a sole beneficiary if you get rid of all that. How? You can't even. You can't even tra do transactions. How? Somebody, please tell me how can you use the all caps for your benefit if you get rid of all that? How? There's no way, no how. Try it and see if you go and. And, and and present something to the to to the treasury or something like that or the uh, IRS or so most people do I don't do IRS provinces don't mess with the IRS forms period period we might we might only thing we do is notify the IRS we don't we don't mess with their forms we don't fill out their forms I don't know where where we get that from if you don't pay taxes why are you over there messing with their forms if you don't pay taxes so how does how does that work how does that work and we wonder why people get in trouble see <laughs> we wonder why people get in trouble i i just don't get it but you can i was arguing up and down somebody argued me up and down all you can do with it you don't know what you're talking about man listen we all have different processes i don't knock nobody's processes i'm gonna say this again <laughs> If somebody asks me questions, I have answers. And believe my believe me, my spirit moves in that way. So if I don't know, I'm going to tell you, I don't know, but I can go research it for you. I have put this up on text. So to get an understanding about me when I put something in the group is, is that I'm just letting you know, you know, I'm not knocking nobody's process. So just let's get that straight and 100. But I know my process, I ain't getting no, 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 nothing bad back now have i got challenged yes you will always get challenged in whatever process you do want to know why you get be challenged because you're going to get challenged because they want to make sure you say you who you are and try to confuse you and all that kind of stuff you have to understand that too i've been challenged twice and i shut them down so i know my process works am i trying to get people to do my process no i'm not I'm just introducing you to a true private citizen type guy. I'm not saying nobody else a private citizen. I, when I say true private, private citizen, that means we do not dabble in commerce, period. If you say, well, well, you got a job. No, I don't have a job. Private citizens don't have a job. I have a business, right? But I don't own the business. I run the business, right? That's how you, that's if you want to maneuver with commerce. Let's use that word. That's not devil in the commerce. That's you benefiting. Right? So if you got an LLC, 
you can have an LLC. Okay? You can have an LLC. Because that's the entity that's dealing with commerce. You're not dealing with commerce. Okay? So any questions about that, that's your answer. You can have a business. LLC or a corporation. You're not the entity. The entity is its own. You just control it. That's it. Just like being the sole beneficiary, you control it, have use of. Okay? Taxes. You know, when it comes to taxes, you know, uh, the, you, won't, you won't have to pay taxes and stuff like that because, uh, uh, again, you're a private citizen. So, anything, only thing you have to pay is the franchise tax fees because you can't avoid that part. That's the part you can't afford. Okay? So, with that being said, you know, if you want to pay taxes, that's on you if you want to pay taxes with your LLC. You know, I've done I've done processes where, you know, I take, you know, I, yes, I have a trust like everybody else, but trust is just asset protection. You know, if you want to uh, put your name, kids, all that up under the trust, you know, having the 98 EIN stuff like that. Yes, I have that too, but that's 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 part part of it outside of the the main objective being a private citizen, right? But it, it's another layer of protection for you, so so you can understand that. So when everybody asks like, why do we do trust? That's why we do trust because it's an extra layer of protection. Uh, everybody's process is different. We do different things. We be creative and do different things. I don't knock nobody's process again because I have an easy process. I don't go with, see, being with the process that I do, do you know, it's not a long, drawn out process, people. It's not, it's not a long, drawn out process. You got, it's a process though. I mean, you still, you still got to send out mail. You still got to do this, this. But I'm talking about the long, long, drawn out ones. You know, that, that stuff that you really don't have to do, you know, but it is things that you have to do, you know, like I say, like everybody's screaming, oh, you got to get rid of your social and get rid of your name, change your name and all You don't, people, you do not have to do none of that. You can never be a sole beneficiary of an all caps name if you are getting rid of that stuff. You cannot. There's no way in hell you can do that. And everybody teaching, um, again, you can do what you want. And again, I'm not knocking, but I'm just giving you true game. You can never benefit off the all caps. If that's what you're trying to do, if you know to do that, you can do that, right? If you get rid of that stuff. So if you want to go change your name to such and such babe, but your, your birth certificate says something else, how, how, how are you going to benefit from that? Somebody please like me. If you want to be a bay, you can be a bay. I don't knock none of that either. I'm just saying, what you was born with and you trying to capitalize off of it, you're not going to capitalize it. You're going to have a discretion there. Like, then you change your name, so how? Now, if you now the only way it will work if, yeah, that all that changes on your birth certificate and all that kind of stuff, yes. But if you try to leave it the same, it's not going to work. Let's get that clear so nobody say, oh, you don't know what he's talking about. You don't know. Nah, I know what I'm talking about. I really do. So if you change your name, you need to make sure everything changes. So if you want to benefit off that, or whatever your birth certificate and all that, they know who you are. So if you do all that, yeah, you can still benefit. But if you try to change your name to from John Smith to Kumpam Pei Bay or whatever you want to call it, and and you just leave it the same and then think you're gonna, it's not gonna work, people. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. And all you guys that know who I'm talking about that call yourself bays they probably know the process you know you might need to give something because like again that's something that you don't have to do you don't have to change your name and all that. you don't just know that you're the sole beneficiary and all that when you sign documents when you handle your business that's what it is you know so uh, I just want to kind of enlighten people on some things I know quite a bit I can go long about this I could talk about a lot of different stuff and common sense stuff, but I just wanted to kind of, kind of give a speech on uh, the comments that be made to me and you know what I be saying and what I be really meaning 
because it's deep and it's deeper than most think, you know, and some of us are deep. So we just kind of, you know, we disagree. We don't disagree. You know, it, it's no sense that, you know, we all had the same objective and we are arguing over the best process and stuff like that because, you know, I could never say my process is the best process. Somebody might like the long drawn out stuff. Some people might want to get the short version and be like, okay, that's all I need to do. God, dog, I didn't have to do all that. Man, that, I'm, I'm going to tell you why, because I have experience on both sides. So if I did the long drawn out process and I was like, man, that's a lot of stuff, man. Just to do all, just to become this and all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, no, that's, that's not, I, that's why I can say this because like I say, I was there. I did both sides. I did that long drawn out shit. Most of that shit didn't work. Did I come and do this? Well, my mentor taught me and everything is copacetic. I mean, everything is good. You know, I'm not having any problems. Like I say, I did get challenged twice. Yes, I can tell you what the challenge is. So, cause I know somebody's gonna ask that. So one of the challenges is when I went to the Social Security Administration office, cause I misplaced my Social Security card. Now this is, I'm gonna give you two of these stories. So I go there and fill out my form, you know, the way I'm supposed to fill it out when I'm as an agent, so beneficiary and stuff like that. They really try to get me to put self on there. Cause if you go down and I think, uh, I forgot what box it is. You get an SS5, you look at it down there, it says self, uh, and like four of the month boxes or five of the boxes. Uh, I think three of, it's in between three to five other boxes. And then at the end, the last box is other, right? So I put all other, then I put sole beneficiary and, uh, and agent of record there, right? So the lady uh, typed my name in and everything. Since I had already put out notices, they, they was like, hey, you know, uh, oh, wow, uh, uh, status change, huh? I said, yeah, status change. She think I did, She didn't think I knew she looked at the computer, typed my name in, looked at the computer, and didn't mention it because my status has changed. But what she tried to do is pull me back in commerce by saying, well, when you need to go over there and mark down, this is how you fill it out. You're supposed to put self there. And I'm like, why would I put self there? You got a, you got your options down there. I just told you what I want to do. I said, other self, so beneficiary agent of record. That's what I want. Oh, no, well, you need to really put self. No, that's what you're supposed to put. So they try to get me to put self on there to put me back on that side. Even though, as you see in the computer, I put notice. So, because when you do that and you do what they say, they saying he this man is not going to handle his own affairs. He's, he's really playing. He don't even know what he want to do. This is what they say. This is why you put them on notice. So when they look at their computers, they'll say, oh, Oh, this is, oh, status change? And all I said to that lady was, yep. And she goes, she said, I'll be right back. She go gets the boss. When she go back there and get the boss, they tell, they tell her. So he comes up and she walks in front of him. So she come, he said, hey, sir, well, uh, is this, is this your name on the, uh, now catch, catch my drift when I see challenges. This is what you need to watch for stuff like this. So stuff like this, you, he, he gonna say, he gonna point at my name, right? No, your name is is at the top. He say, is this your your name? And he has my ID, uh, my driver license in his hand, right? And I said, no, that I said, no, that's not me, right? And then he turn around, look, he looks at my my driver license, and he say, well, hey, man. You sure this is not you? No, that's not me. Because he kept pointing at the name. Then he looked at the driver license again. When he looked at the driver license again, he said, so is this you on the ID? And I said, yeah, that's me on the ID. Why do you think I said that? I said that because you said, you pointed to my picture and said, is that me? Is this you? He didn't point at the name and say, is this you? He pointed at the picture and said, is this you? I said, yeah, that's me. He didn't say, is this your name on the, on the driver license? See, 
you have to catch what they be saying. See, those what I'm that's what I mean by the challenges that they'll try to put. And he could not get me to say it was me. He was trying his best. And they always do things. You know what I know? My mentor told me this. They always do things in threes, meaning asking you questions three times. And don't you know that man asked me that three times before he got a little, uh, well, it looked like we're going to deny your application. And I said, well, whatever you do, you do it. I had of that. So they did. They sent me something in the mail saying, oh, you just, the only thing they said was fix my birthday because I have my birthday bounce, right? So I fixed that. Sit the back. Two weeks later, I give him, I give him a social security card in the mail. <laughs> See, those are the challenge. That's what I'm saying. The challenge. You got to stand on your own two feet and let them know who you really are. You can't make me say I'm a citizen of the United States. You can't make me say none of that, right? And two, I want to say this. This is not about anti-government. We're not anti-government. I don't know why people think private citizens is anti-government. We just don't deal with the government. We just don't dabble in commerce. We don't. We are not in a jurisdiction. Uh, we need to stop. We need to stop acting like. Oh, I, I I can't stand the government. I mean, yeah, we don't like what the government does. Yes, we don't like how they run, run in this country. Yes, of course. But we can't, as private citizens, act like we anti-government because. That's what's going to get you messed up. Once you tell them, oh, you're going to stop using my name. You're going to stop. Uh, I'm going to take control of my social and you can't use it. I'm the only one going to use it. Guess what they're going to do? Give you a hard ass time. No. Am I saying kiss their ass? No, I'm not. You let them know that you're not a threat. Okay, people. You got to let them know you're not a threat. And go on about your business. Cause they're gonna they're gonna handle you even worse than when you be like you anti-government. You shouldn't act anti-government. If it, it okay, you can act that way in your own world, right? But keep that shit away from them because that's what's gonna cause you to get no transactions happening. That's gonna cause you to have many much problems instead of getting what you want out out what you're trying to do. Cause believe me. They ain't trying to hear that shit. They already hate to lose you as a citizen, right? A so-called U.S. citizen. But if you keep on, they're gonna they're gonna make sure they give you a hard time. You're gonna ask them, "Hey, can you can you can you do this uh, bill of exchange for me?" And get what they're gonna do. They're gonna play around. They you ain't gonna hear from them. They first of all, a lot of times they're not gonna. You're not gonna hear from them anyway. They're just gonna take action, and you'll know when they take action because some things will go in your favor that you're looking for, right? They don't conversate with you. That's private. <laughs> if they act when you say you're private, they're gonna treat it as such. Why? Because they don't want they shit out there. They don't want to be exposed. So they're gonna keep it like that, and they hope you keep it like that. They really hope you keep it like that. So, the second time I had a problem, you know, I'm just going to say, yes, I was incarcerated before. I was. And, you know, um, I did a little, little, little fair time, you know, doing the wrong thing. I regret it and stuff like that because I didn't have to do it, you know. Uh, just young and stupid. But, but hey, you know, uh, I'm a totally different man now. And I, you know, I don't indulge in no illegal activities and stuff like that. I just run my business like I supposed to, like I did back then when I was 20 some years old. I had a business then. So, uh, the second time, you know, this happened was, you know, when I actually sent my notices to the president, right? Now, the president is Department of Justice, right? So what happened is that I hadn't been on paper for like four years or so or so. And and they come sending me something in the mail talking about, oh, we need to keep up with your address. We need to we need you to fill out this application, let us know but we need to keep our books up and stuff. Cause you know, back then, you know, white collar you get restitution and stuff like that. So you'd be like, Man, what is these I was like, man, what is these people? 
sending me this for? I don't deal with it no more. I've been been, been away from probation. I, I don't even know why they sent me shit. And they had a tax form attached to the application. Now, mind you, I read all documents. So when I when I look at the documents, say, oh, if you fill this out wrong, you're going to, uh, it's five years, it's going to be a fine and, and like five years imprisonment for lying on the application. First of all, that would have got me. If I would have filled that out and lied or something on it and they knew I was lying, that would have got me. Okay. Then they had a tax form. So if I lie on the tax form, I'm hit too. Guess what? They can hit me with both of them and then put me in jail. And guess where I'll be? Right back in commerce. Everything I did was for nothing. So you guys have to understand stuff like this. So what I did was to stop that. All I did was send them a DOS to declaration of status with all my information, everything in it to tell them who I was, everything. Do you know I heard from them people since? Again, through experience now, I'm telling you this, this is what they do. So if I don't be knowing what I'm talking about, I send them that and them people didn't touch me at all. They didn't knock on my door. They know where I'm at. They didn't even bother me. This is what I mean, people, by sending notices out, letting them know who you are. They already had a notice from the president, Department of Justice. See, when they changed my stat status, what they did, they, the Department of Justice locally, which is the FBI, the Department of Justice, which is the courts, they got in touch with me. Hey, listen, you need to woo woo woo. You need to update this. Da, da. No, I don't, because what you're trying to do is put me in commerce. Because I told you who I was now, so you trying to check. Because, again, you got to look at it that I was considered a felon. So they wanted to keep their felon in the loop. I know this. It's common sense. So all I did is send my DOS with all my information in it, let them know who I was. I haven't heard from them people since. That lets you know your status changed and you did something right. When you send these people notices in the department of justice, if you ever been in trouble, the department of justice try to check you. No, I check them. And get what? They, I'm still, I'm talking to you on this video. Ain't nobody bother me. This is what I mean. You have to notify these people. You can't just be running right here and talking about, yeah, all I got to do is do a trust. I'm good. I, I can be doing this for years and I never got in trouble. You want to know why? Because you ain't did nothing to get in trouble you ain't did nothing out the way for them people to come jack your ass you have to notify them stop running around here and saying oh i ain't got to notify nobody yes you do it's not them checking you it's you checking them because when it come time to you doing something they can't say oh you can't do that but they can when you don't put them when you don't put them on notice they can it don't matter about no damn trust it don't matter about none of that. If you don't put them on notice and you do trust, anybody can go just do a trust without being no. Yeah, anybody can do that. But all you're doing is doing it for asset protection, right? That's all you're doing. We talking about being a private citizen and protecting your property. Yeah. So don't you want both? Not just, oh, I'm a I'm just gonna not use a driver license and I'm just not going to use a social security card. I don't want I'm going to tell these people. I don't want that shit no more. But you call them telling these. You running around here talking about your private citizen. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You're dead. Period. All the way dead. We already say we dead. Did you all the way dead. They considered you. Boy, don't do nothing. Telling you wrong. You hit. I'm just being honest about this stuff. I be trying to tell people. I don't think I'm again. I'm not acting like I know this, but it's common sense. Come on, people. Come on, it's common sense, man. I don't want to. I, I, I'm so sick of this. You're not using common sense. Oh, I don't have to notify these people. You don't have to notify people. All you need to do is have a trust. And I ain't never had no problem. Just because you now the problem, go do things that private citizens do, and you'll see if you have a problem or not. You'll wonder why stuff ain't working for you. Go do it. Trust me. You'll be thinking about it. Why this didn't work? That's why it didn't work. And, and, and people, they're not going to tell you something works. They're not going to give you the heads up on nothing. You have to just pay attention. When they don't respond, that means you did something right. They don't respond because they don't want to be put on blast. 
They don't want you putting it out here. Oh, this works. This that. They don't. They don't want to tell you that. It's just like going to court. And you going to court. You actually won by him telling you to get out the courtroom by being a private citizen because you don't supposed to be in the courtrooms. They will kick you out. A real private citizen. You go in the courtroom. All you got to do is raise up three documents: DOS, non-UCC, and your name, hold of record. And guess what they're gonna do? And you let them know for the record who you is three times because they're going to ask you three times. And guess what? They're going to tell you to get the hell out of their courtroom. You don't need to be in here. Uh, or they're going to say, because it's on record, they're going to say, oh, we're going to postpone this this uh, this hearing or this court today. We'll get back with you, Mr. Stone or such and such, whoever you are, and say, hey, you know, uh, or agent, how they want to say it. Because they're going to say it for the record Because they they can't say nothing out the way Because they can get in trouble So they're going to be like Well, we're just going to They can't sit They're not going to tell you Oh, you you don't come in this courtroom no more And this and this and that They're going to just say Oh, well, we're going to postpone this And we're going to set up another day You might never, ever hear a date Ever again They're just going to forget about it Because it's on record It's going to be expunged Whatever you got going on <laughs> Right? You might not believe it But that happens I have proof of an affidavit that it happened to some of my peers. See? And, you know, we scream about showing proof and stuff like that. People, y'all have to understand, stuff is private. We can't show everything. This shit is private. If you trust in the process, you trust in the process, like I told one guy. If you don't trust in the process, that's on you. It's not on me to make you do anything. If you say, oh, I don't think that's going to be cool. I don't think that's that's real. And this, guess what I'm going to do? And sit back and say, if he only knew. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not. That's all I'm going to say to myself. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm going to say, okay, well, that's fine. You no, know, people have their own process and they do what they want to do. Do I listen to other people's processes? Yes. And I can honestly say I agree with a lot of it. Some processes I'd be like, ah, no, no. But to keep it 100 people, I just wanted to make a, a video so the, so the people that don't know me in the group, they, you know, they come to this this link and they, they got to see who I was and uh, what I'm about and what I be meaning in the group when I talk about it. The reason why I don't put nothing out in the group is because you have a lot of guys that, you know, uh, uh, going to talk down, give you a hard time, you know. I don't have time for that stuff because I'm not that type of dude. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm going to, like, let you be where you at. That's the type of dude I am. And, uh, you know, uh, the guys that started up the, the, the group, hey, I don't know them like that. I was invited to the group, so they accepted me in the group. So, I, I mean, I haven't did none of their processes, but I get my insights. You know, we talk about certain things, and that'll be it, you know, like, if anybody trying to get a hold of me, you can friend me or whatever. If you can message me on Messenger, you know, if you if you get uh, uh, to see this video, and you know, if you want it, you're interested in getting to know more about what I do, uh, how I do my process, and how what why am I talking about easy process or why am I talking about this? Why is it, whatever question you may have, if you're doing something right in your process, do I agree with it? I, I can tell you now, I'm never going to tell you you're doing something wrong. I can probably encourage you like, hey, you know, that might not be the right thing to put on your document or whatever, whatever, you know, or, you know, I'm never going to knock what you're doing because that's what your heart set on. So I never knock that. But I do have suggestions. I will have a suggestion if I feel like ah, I, you don't have to do all that. You can just do this and it be the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So that type of stuff. But uh, anyway, people, I'm going to get off here to know this video has been 30 minutes. I just want to kind of uh, elaborate on some of the things I said in the group. You know, you can check me out. Like I say, uh, friend me on Facebook and message me. And then we can go from there. We could probably do a video chat and talk about some things you might want to talk about. It's cool, man. All right, people. I'm out. Check you out. Hope to hear from you. Yeah.